Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Getting That Checking in on a quick update, man. Uh, got in this frame, getting this frame, nice, man. Just got to get the hang of uh, my new plasma. Cuts a little jagged, but I use the ground and smooth them off. But I really need to cut it back a little bit more anyway. But, uh, man, say hello to my new friend. Focus, 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 focus. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Say hello to my new friend. I like this new little plasma cutter. It's uh, it's called a pilot art plasma cutter. Pilot art means that you don't need to touch the metal to spark it. So when I hit the trigger, it's, it sparks coming out of it. And I like that on this. And um, I like it on we be working on rusty metal. If it's if it's if the metal's too rusty to make a contact, you gotta clean off of just a little surface, maybe the size of a dime, and you can start there. Then you can go ahead and cut make one consistent cut of uh, your stop you have to grind another grind it down a little piece then start there but um it's a plasma arc it's uh it's an ag 60 tip um i bought me some more tips i thought it came with a few tips i didn't see them in the box um but i'm glad i bought some because i thought it had came with like two extra tips but i don't see them in the box i'm gonna double check again before i throw the box away so um just a little update man we move forward on the cutty uh i didn't show the suspension on the cutty thought i heard somebody call my name all right yeah we got the suspension on the cutty got the suspension all looking real good real clean uh blazer spinners painted uh adapter bracket for 14 inch miller 14 millimeter uh z06 rotors uh y'all need this bracket you can hit me up I, i'm out right now but brackets 145 ship y'all need that bracket uh if you, any of y'all if y'all need you on my parts let me know i'm a you on my dealer i can get you a good price on you on my don't hit me up till you're ready i'm if you if you can if you're ready to pay the full, the the website price, you'd be ready to pay my price because my price is whew, it varies between ten to thirty percent. It just varies. It just varies. So don't hold me to that. Uh, like these control arms, I think they fourteen hundred on the website. I think I could do them for like thirteen or something like that. Don't hold me to it. Just hit me up if you if you want to. Uh, inquire about no don't hit me up if you want to inquire hit me up if you want to you ready to buy like i said if you could afford the website price you can afford my price but anywho we got vikings double adjustable on here full you on my suspension man front and rear uh, um upper upper tubular control arm a lot of people ask well, do that make a difference? It makes your car handle better. Um, to be honest with you, to cut the shit, if 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 you just a cruiser, man, you just want to pull out on Sunday. You don't need this, but you know, if you're going full build, you want you want your suspension to ride handle like a like a Corvette, and you know you're gonna be getting your foot in it. Go ahead, spend the money, and uh. Upgrade to suspension. This stuff very expensive, so I understand everybody money not the same. You know, you just a little, little, little bit at a time. My opinion, my opinion, you start out back. Start out back. My opinion, start out back. Do your rear end, do your brakes, do your rear control arms, do your shocks. If you're going to do car loads, if you're going to do regular shocks with uh, one inch or two inch, you and my spring, start out back. Then come out back to come to come forward. That's my opinion. Especially if you still cruising in the car. You have if you're not planning on parking a car, this your, you know, weekend warrior, weekend cruiser, daily driver. I would start out back, then I'll work my way to the front and but um we got I got a project coming how to build a G bot on a budget. Very, very low budget. So y'all stay tuned to that man. It's a luxury sport. It's coming real soon. Y'all stay on the lookout for that. But just a little update, man. Um, he had the automotive more uh, hubs, man. I sent them a link. I think I sent them a link. 
It wasn't it wasn't two wheel dry hubs, they were four wheels, so he had to bring some, so he dropped them off. Uh so I got that. Oh uh, what else? What else? I don't feel like lowering the car, man. We got wheel wood master cylinder. We got a wheel wood proportional valve. I do have a video coming. It's gonna get kind of complicated, but you got to pay attention. Write it down. Pay attention. Get your notepad. How to hook up that proportional valve to the hard line? Uh, real simple. Need a couple fittings. Couple fittings. Real simple. I got a video coming on showing that. So uh, I ain't gonna hold y'all up YouTube more. I'll probably get this trimmed off some more, get it where we need it, and that's probably gonna be it for the day. So I'll fade back with y'all when I get this frame notch complete and re in. I got the re in built. Uh, so I'll fade back over now. What up, YouTube? We faded back, man. Uh, back with uh, Project Cutty Killer, man. Uh, Got everything nice and pretty. Um, I just gotta figure out this little piece to drop it back. Cause uh, when you shorten the rear end, it's just the nature of the beast, how the frame curve, that corner of that back wheel hits the frame. So I gotta uh, drop it back, uh, drop the rear end back. I mean, not the rear end, the frame back. So um, drop this little piece back. I hope I, I got it enough. Maybe I should come up a little bit more to be on the safe side. I'm gonna have to see. But I think that's gonna be good enough though. Uh, kinda suck not having a wheel, but I had to freestyle and kinda wing it and uh, cross the fingers. Hope everything's followed into play. Frame notch, can't go around the frame notch. Shot the rear in an inch, kinda went off uh, Memphis Mike specs. So hopefully everything will play out. Waiting on the wheel, man, about 22 weeks, 20 weeks, man. This rim shit a joke, man. I, honest opinion, if you need wheels, forge you. Rucci look like they've been getting them out decent. Billy Specialties. Uh, I don't know about the other Billy company, Intro and Raceline. I know Carly on Forge, they've been slow getting them out. Core, core wheel. They've been super, super, duper slow getting them out. Uh, Bond Speed, he's super, duper, 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 duper slow getting them out. Man, honestly, you need wheels. Find you some used wheels, man, because <laughs> this wheel company shit is effed up, man. But, uh, uh, but yeah, we're going to weld this up. I'm going to get it all lined up. I'm going to get my man here, like I say, bro. I ain't in the, I ain't in the lab no more, so I got to. Everything on fast pace, so I'm gonna get this tacked in. Let my man come back and weld this in. I'll be working on something else, man. I could be working on another project, so I'm gonna let him weld that in for me. And uh, what else? What else? What else? That's what we got though, YouTube. Uh, once I get it tacked in, I, I usually take my little hammer, beat it down, and close in the gap, but that's when I do it off the frame, so I'm still better put my chisel there and kind of tap it just to get it down close in the gap just a little bit gap not bad on it uh but uh what else what else what else that's it though you two um uh, fade back when we get this all on uh, welded up and done and uh anybody want to know what frame nice that's how much you give you roughly roughly about three quarters half inch anywhere between uh depends on if you follow the, the guideline, you're supposed to cut on the seam, on the cutty. I went way behind the seam, so my frame notch pretty thin. So, uh, so uh, I think that's it, YouTube. Boy, I'm about to get in there over and out. All right, YouTube, we faded back, man, on the frame notch on this cutty. Uh, got it all tacked in. I went ahead and played with a little beach. You know, don't play with them dimes. That boy, I'm dropping them dimes now, boy. But uh, uh, I think I talked about it on the last clip. Drop this back because of the the back wheel when you shorten the rear. Uh, so kind of winging it, but I'm kind of going off some info from a couple homies. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed because ain't no telling when the wheel gonna show up, man. I wait on the wheel. I won't. I won't be the goddamn gone 
way the things looking me, man, before I can get this back in together, man. So I uh, got this piece in here just tagged in here. Uh Paul faded back. Uh for the people who really don't understand frame notch, you see how this frame is poking out past this um inner fender, your inner and outer, your pass sticking out past the inner fender. So that's what the frame notch do. It gets you back even with it gets you back even with that. So when you got wider wheels, it just depends on the wheel spec. Uh, sometimes some people need a frame notch for a five inch lip. It just depends on how the wheel was built. And it just depends on how the wheel was built, man. So I can't really give you no specifics on that. But uh, everything fall into play with this. I'll walk y'all through the whole process where, I, where I'm already filling you in on the on the uh i'm already filling you in on the frame notch i fill you on the rear specs and the wheel specs so everything fall into play you want a seven inch lip i give you the specs all you got to do is uh hit your wheel provider hey i need the 24 seven inch lip such and such back lip seven inch front lip three inch back lip and i need the back space and such and such whatever offset such and such so I'm gonna let y'all know all that, man. So, uh, but I'm about to get in there. About to get the chopping on this side. Just got my marks. Uh, I need to measure the other side. I think I went to kind of right here. So I need to measure off this hole on the other side how much I went back. Uh, so we fade back over now. All right, we rolling. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Gillian. Checking in on a quick update, man. We got the frame notch going. Uh, Got it notched in the corner. Kind of went a little too much, but I really wouldn't. Really not that much. It just looks like that. Um, Could have put it on an angle. This piece here gave it a look, little, little better contour. But hey, it's all good. Um, got it welded up. Dropped a couple dimes on there, man. You already know, man. Dropped a couple dimes on there. Uh, I need to grind that down right there. Wasn't too happy with it, so I'm gonna re weld that, and that'll be it. Probably just take the weld, I mean, not the weld of the grinder, just knock it down just to smudge it, paint it up, make it look pretty. Um, got the other side, well, ran out of gas, ran out of gas, ran out of gas. So, um, get another bottle tomorrow and uh, get this welded up, get this finished. Waiting on to some pieces, go and get the ring stuck in there, uh, kind of holding me up, uh, kind of like parts. I like parts waiting on me, not me waiting on parts, but hey, it is what it is, shit. Um, what else, YouTube? Well, I'll go to the other side. All right, YouTube, fade it back. Yeah, I got to put the piece in right here. I forgot about that. Put that piece in. Uh, these two pieces, put them in. Um, got a little too much gap than I wanted. I got to take my hammer, beat it down nice and tight, nice and firm. Get it closed in, but I got this all tacked in over here. Uh, that's it. Um, reason why I did this is because um, shutting her in an inch. So the almost majority of the time, just on a 10 inch wheel, depends on the offset of the wheel. That wheel are hit in this corner right here. I watch sometimes people put like a little cord, like an eighth of an inch adapter. I mean spacer just to get it out this corner. Sometimes I take a maul hammer and beat this corner in. So that's why it's dropped back like that. Rin shot an inch. Uh, inch in, now I gotta double check. Uh, got the rin at the house, finish that up. Uh, do a whole walkthrough on when we get the wheels and everything, seven inch wheels, how to fit seven inch wheels on a G body, what to do, what to do, how to mount seven inch wheels, seven inch lips on a G body, three piece on a G pie. That'll be uh, the video next. It's just an update on the cutty. Hold on. All right, you two got the suspension on there, man. Uh, blazer brakes, man. I mean, blazer, I'm sorry, blazer hubs. Dab the bracket to get in there, dab the bracket. Uh, QA1 sway bar, QA, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You and my sway bar. You and my upper, t lower tubulars, upper tubular A arms. Vikings for the win. I prefer to run Vikings. I like Vikings better. Um, you get more bang for your buck with the Vikings with the front. The Vikings and the the Vikings and the QA1 both the same price on the front. 
but Viking you get double adjustable you could adjust the rebound and the compression of the shock so you get more bang for your buck with the Viking on the front now the back on the Viking costs a little bit more than the QA1 shocks but I, I prefer to run Viking customer got a few extra bucks to spend extra hundred or extra 200 bucks I prefer to run Vikings that's what I run uh had to paint up the um had to paint up the uh uh, blah, 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 tie rods and stuff, suspension stuff. Um, I usually like running uh, Pro Fours, but he bought some Moog, and Moog don't come painted, so I just went and painted up for him. I didn't want to be rusty, so you know, went and did that. Uh, Pro Forge, all this stuff come electric, e coated, some kind of electric coating. Put it in water, zap it, make the paint stick. I don't know, but it don't rust though, so. But I usually run uh, Pro Forge though, so I like that stuff. That's pretty good stuff over there. Um, but that's it though, man. Everything just dusty. Uh, got the wheel wood, wheel wood. Um, mouse is selling a proportion valve. Um, got a video on that how they stall the wheel wood proportion valve. That's coming up. Um, what else? What else? Uh, that's it, YouTube. Just a little update on the, um, West Bank Cutty Killer. Uh, ball must get in there over and out. You know, quick update, man. We got uh, whoo, got updates, 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 man. Sorry for the for the hold back on the footage, but uh, oh, that's better, that's better. Um, sorry for the hold back on the footage. Busy, busy, whoo, busy, busy. But uh, anywho, we got uh. Got the cutter here with the UMI suspension on the front. Just got the frame now uh, sealed and dealed and ready to go. I'm gonna shoot the uh, chassis of the paint on it now. I got a little little weld on the grind down. I had a little slag or something. I don't know what you want to call it. And uh, and uh, that's it. I'm turning the camera around and fade back. Rolling. All right, YouTube, got your uh, frame here. Get y'all a little light here. Got it all scratched up so I can uh, put my um, time code chassis of the panel on there. Got the wheels on there, not too shabby, not too shabby. I dropped some dimes right there, got a little sloppy, dropped them dimes again, dimes. Got a little sloppy, dropped them dimes. Dropped them dimes, dimes. So you, you see how it went. Got a little sloppy right there, huh? Had a little slag, so I'm gonna grind this down. I'm not even grinding none of this down. The wheels look pretty good, pretty nice. Uh, really don't like grinding wheels down, it takes the strength. Uh, here we go again. Got some nice wheels going on there. Some nice wheels, nice wheels going on. Gotta grind this little nipple down. But that's it though. Uh, that's it. Dropped it back. I probably went too much, but I know I went too much. But it was I wasn't trying to go that much. It was kind of made it kind of difficult to uh, kind of cut that. I just really need to drop it back about a, a quarter. That's about a half inch, but uh, it'll be all right. Uh, got it scuffed up. You can see the scratch is not sharp. Scratched it with some uh, like some 36 grit right there. So you. Make sure uh, when I shoot my uh, paint on. It's, uh, I've deleted the footage on the rim, sharpening the rim. I got another car to do, so I'll fill y'all in on that. But I mean, it's sharpening the rim really not for, I mean, no disrespect for somebody trying to learn. So I still, all I did was sharpen an inch, which kind of. We was kind of uh, freestyling. Kind of went off Memphis Mike specs. We ain't got a wheel. He ordered a core wheel. I don't know what's going on with the core wheel. All I know is I wouldn't order nothing for core right now too. I see multiple people getting wheels and they back doing good business because right now, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. 
I'm not even gonna speak on it. All I know, I don't know. A couple people hit me up about them. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, was we got to get in that special the Torsen Zexel two three seven three gears. Got a good pattern on it. Good pattern. Uh, printed for a collar. Um. Uh, that was just some little, some rust, some little rust converter I sprayed on there. So I'm about to go and shoot it with the town coat chassis, the black man. You know we use the town coat chassis, the black. Just now filing the beard, town coat chassis, the black on the frame. Uh, under the bottom, real nice man, real nice. The chassis, black. Uh, so y'all, town coat chassis, the black. Uh, so I fade back out the window, um, get some color on that thing, over and up. Sorry about that. What up, you two, your bums getting that faded back, man. Uh, got the frame painted, well, the frame notch area that I left out originally. And got the rim painted, nice and wet, nice and creamy. I turn around the camera on that, and, uh, that be it, man. Next video, we are. Uh, I throw this the rest of this quick performance. I'm sorry, it's not quick performance. I was just talking to a guy in the inbox about quick performance. Uh, Carlos, real Carlos, adjustable A arms, stock replacement A arms. I uh, should have got him to get adjustable lower A arms, but uh, what else? What else? Um, that's it, turn the camera around on y'all, YouTube. All right, YouTube. Got the ring all painted up. Nice and creamy. Nice and wet. That's what I do. That's what I do. And this is the frame. Got the frame all painted up. Nice and wet. And uh, that's it, YouTube. Go on the other side. Let's see the other side. And that'd be it for this video, man. Shit. That's it, YouTube. Fade back over and up. Axis ring, I shorten. Shorten it one inch. Painted. Uh, Tampa chassis black. You know my upper adjustable, double adjustable. Should have gotten to get uh those those adjustable lowers, but didn't know he was shorting the rear end. Just a little update. Still clean under the bottom. Time code chassis the black. This is an update YouTube. Got the front done. Got the call, got the Viking call overs. Dab the bracket. C5 uh calibers, 14 inch rotors. You on my lower control arm. You on my sway bar. You on my uh joist bar. Gotta put on here, I gotta. See what I'ma do with that, man. I still ain't figured that out. I think I know what I'ma do though. Nah, slept on it a couple days. That's it though. YouTube coming along, man. Gonna move a little faster now.